Hi everyone, welcome to the Active Resilience Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on GOC, that is nothing but a General Organic Chemistry series. This is the lecture number 11. Today we are going to deal with a, like a continuation of aromaticity, that is the lecture 3 in aromaticity. Okay, aromaticity in heterocyclic compounds. Okay, how do how do you find the or how do you identify the aromaticity of uh, like a different different uh, kind of uh, uh, heterocyclic compounds? Now let's move on to the different different kind of uh, like heterocyclic compounds. Now here it is the five member rings with a uh, mono hetero atoms like a furan. We know that. So this is the like a uh, thiophene, like a uh, pyrrol, thiophene. Okay, these are the like a uh, five membered rings with a uh, mono hetero atoms. Now the five membered rings with a uh, two hetero atoms. Like we know that uh, like this imidazole, oxygen plus uh, nitrogen. That's why it is called as oxazole. Like a nitrogen, like here it is the sulfur that is called thiazole. Okay, these are the five membered rings with the two heteros, two hetero atoms. Now let's move on to the like six membered rings with one hetero atom. That is the like a uh, pyridine. Six membered ring with the two hetero atoms. That is nothing but pyrimidine. Like a uh, six membered ring with uh, two hetero atoms. Like opposite positions. Simply it is called as pyrazine. Simply it is uh, called as pyrazine. Again, fused rings. This is the like a benzene with a like a five membered ring that of a pyrrole, benzo pyrrole. Simply it is called as indole. Like a benzo pyrrole with a different different atoms, benzo furan. Like a, another final one is a, like benzo thiophene, benzo thiophene. Now again, benzo fusel rings like a two six membered rings with the mono hetero atoms. That is nothing but a quinoline. This is the anti malarial drug. Now, like a isoquinoline. This is the isoquinoline. Okay, these are the core mitis of anti uh, anti malarial drug. Now, not only these type of aromatic compounds, like different different kind of aromatic compounds are observed. So, like a purine derivatives. So here it is the like a purine derivative, nitrogen and H. Okay. Now here it is the aromatic compound with a with uh, different kind of double bonds and four nitrogen atoms. This is simply it is called as a, a, like a purine. Simply it is nothing but a purine. Not only these compounds like a like a heterocyclic compound with a lot of conjugation. Okay, this is the, like a Bora compound. So now here six member ring with a single hetero atom at the joint position. This is simply it is called as a idolizing. Simply it is called indolizing. Indolizing. Okay. Now again, four pyrone, four pyrone. Again, the final thing is it's not an heterocyclic compound. It is a like a which is a missed out in previous lecture. That's why I will added this compound. So this is the squaric acid. Okay, now let's move on to the these type of uh, heterocyclic compounds, uh, whether it is uh, aromatic or not, whether it is aromatic or, or not. Okay, now let's move on to the first one. So here it is the two lone pairs are there. Now according to our previous rule, so if uh, atom having the more than one lone pair, so only one lone pair it is participated in the plane of delocalization. That's why only one lone pair is calculated. So here two lone pairs, one one lone pair, two electrons, two electrons, two electrons. So six electrons here also two electrons two electrons two electrons six electrons here also six electrons so all are aromatic okay all are aromatic simply it is a simply it is denoted as a for aromatic a for anti aromatic okay now here aromatic 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 now here also in case of like a uh, imidazole oxazole thiazole okay now here nitrogen atom so the nitrogen atom having the load phase but uh, the, that nitrogen atom which is already present which is already participated in the double bond formation that's why these lone pairs cannot calculate it now here it having the different different kind of lone pairs so here these atom having the two lone pairs but only one lone pair is calculated now here these atom lone pairs cannot calculate it due to the already formation of the double bond of same atom now here also like uh, these type of lone pairs now here the lone pairs Double bond, double bond, that means six electrons, that's why it is aromatic. Lone pairs, double bond, double bond, six electrons, aromatic. Double, lone pairs, double bond, double bond, six electrons, aromatic. 
nature so that is also aromatic in nature now here it is the like pyridine moiety so pyridine having the lower base but these are uh, these nitrogen atom which is already participated in the double bond formation that's why these double bonds are only calculated in the hokul phi electrons rule now it's totally six electrons that is aromatic so here it having the two lone pairs but it is still it, uh, it uh, participated in the double bond formation that's why only five bonds are calculated six electrons aromatic here also six electrons aromatic okay now here indole that is nothing but benzopyrrole so here it is the six electrons for the benzene ring and four electron like and six electron for the like other five member ring that means here five plus five, sorry three pi three pi bonds that means six electrons six plus two eight eight plus two ten ten electrons that means aromatic so like similarly here also ten electrons aromatic ten electrons aromatic okay now the quinoline so three pi bonds so two like five pi bonds here the, 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 here it is the lone pairs that lone pairs cannot calculate in the aromatic state that means five lone pairs means five pi bonds means that is the ten electrons that's why it is aromatic so this is also aromatic these lone pairs cannot calculate it these lone pairs cannot calculate it so the bottom cannot calculate it so top calculated okay it is calculated so here it is not calculated here it is not calculated okay now here bottom not calculated top bottom not calculated top here it is not here it is not so here it is calculated here it is not calculated okay so top is calculated bottom is not calculated okay so this is the calculation of double bonds this is the calculation of double bonds now let's move on to the like another type of uh, like uh, heterocyclic rings calculation for the uh, identification for the aromaticity so this is the like purine derivative so here it is the lone pairs so these lone pairs are calculated lone pair plus double bond four electrons six electrons eight electrons 10 electrons so these lone pairs these lone pairs these lone pairs cannot calculate it okay these three are nitrogen atom lone pairs cannot calculate it but nh proton lone pairs can calculate it so that's why it is aromatic so here it is the like uh, indolegene derivatives it is nothing but indolegene so here it is the lone pairs are calculated okay lone pairs plus double bond double bond double bond double bond four double bonds eight electrons one lone pair two electrons totally 10 electrons it is aromatic okay now let us let us discuss this so this is the december 2018 csr problem december 2018 csr problem now here it is the two lone pairs so if atom having the more than one lone pair but only one lone pair is calculated now totally lone pair plus double bond double bond double bond totally eight electrons so eight electron means a foreign system that's why it is anti-aromatic not aromatic it is not aromatic as well as non-aromatic okay it is anti-aromatic this is the december 2018 question okay now here boron so boron that is electronically deficient species boron means uh, 1s2 2s2 2p1 okay this is the valence electronic configuration 2s2 2p1 now here two electrons here one electron at first excited state uh, here it is excited as uh, like this type of uh, configuration like a uh, 2s1 2p2 like these three atoms which is participated in the three bonds that's why here it is having the one vacant orbital so the boron having the vacant orbital instead of lone pairs there in previous atoms uh, which, which are having the lone pairs but boron is the empty orbital that's why there is no electron for the boron but here it having the empty vacant orbital those vacant orbitals are participated in the delocalization that's why it is also known as p2 orbital it is also participated in the delocalization so the total electrons are 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 electrons even though it have it does not having the like any type of any kind of electrons it is the like a vacant orbital so it is participated in the conjugation six electrons that's why it is aromatic in nature that's why it is aromatic in nature now here it is the like a four pyrrole okay now here it it, it, it forms the different kind of uh, structures like here it is the OH this type of resonating structure whenever it which uh, obstruct the proton now here this type of structure is arise now instead of a double bonds here oxygen will obstruct the proton will obstruct the proton now it gives the this type of uh, resonating structure okay so that's why it is a uh, it is protonated that's why it is it is carried by the positive charge now here it is the like uh, there is uh, these load pairs cannot calculate it why because so the, those lone pair atoms which uh, which is used for the like a formation of uh, protonation formation of protonation now here it is the positive charge okay so that's why it is not an uh, aromatic in nature not aromatic in nature so that's why this is the like a less stable resonance form that's why it is cannot calculated over there okay now here this is the system due to the this much of stabilization the system is aromatic in nature system is aromatic why because it is the aromatic let us let us assume so here it is the like a positive charge over there it is the negative charge so here the lone pairs can calculate it here it cannot calculate it here it is the calculator 
So the lone pairs plus two electrons plus two electrons that means six electrons. So here positive means zero electrons. Six plus zero zero six electrons. So that by due to the six electrons it is aromatic in nature. Due to the six electrons it is aromatic in nature. Now this is the like a dianion of squaric acid. Dianion of squaric acid. Squaric acid is a like a very strong acid, like a, similar to the like a concentrated nitrogen so four. Okay, so here these kind, uh, these type of uh, squaric acid will use the these type of resonating structures. The more resonating structures, more acidic in nature. So O minus. O minus double bond O double bond O. So even though it it is participated like this, like a, even though these double bond electrons will participate like this, again it forms the this kind of uh, product. Double bond O double bond O O minus O minus. This is the much more resonating structure, much more stabilization of resonating structure. Okay, due to that here it having the, like this kind of uh, structure. O minus O minus. So here it is the carbonyl compound. That means O minus and carbon positive. O minus and carbon positive. So which seems to be like this, like a four-membered ring with a di-positive charge. Four-membered ring with di-positive charge. That means total electrons are two electrons. Two electrons which follows the four n plus two pi electron rule. So four n plus two pi electron rule as well as it follows the sp two as well as planar. That's why it is aromatic compound. So aromatic compounds as well as uh, the resonance stability, it is more acidic in nature. Okay, this is the like a few compounds regarding to the aromaticity in uh, heterocyclic compounds. Now let's move on to the some of the resonance energy. Like, that is the resonance stability of uh, these type, these kind of uh, like uh, heterocyclics as well as uh, carbocyclic compounds. Now let's move on to the resonance energy. Okay, now let's discuss the resonance energy of different different kind of uh, uh, like uh, systems. Now here it is the benzene. We know that like a benzene resonance energy, the resonance energy of benzene is 36 kilocalories per mole. Kilocalories per mole. So this is the benzene atom. Now again, so here it is the like a naphthalene atom. Naphthalene resonance energy approximately 61 kilocalories per mole. Kilocalories per mole. Again, in similarly like anthracene mighty. Many of the books they are given in the like 81, but uh, the some of the standard books it gives the like 20, 83, 83 kilocalories per mole. Okay, now here it is the like a phenanthracene mighty. So this is the 91 kilocalories, 91 kilocalories. But uh, uh, the higher level as well as lower level exams, the competitive exams, they are susceptible to the questions like this. So they are given in these four, these four types of compounds these four compounds so among the four which one having the more aromatic in nature more resonance energy which one having the more resonance energy or more aromatic in nature so whenever we uh, we remember these uh, these values uh, so absolutely phenanthacene is more resonance energy than that of the like anthracene than that of the like anaphthalene and benzene this is wrong so they are asking about um, the resonance energy of per ring not at all total molecule okay now let's calculate the resonance energy per ring per ring resonance energy okay now here oh, it is only one ring that's why 36 kilocalories so here two rings are there so one ring is uh, 30.5 30.5 so this is the like a uh, kilocalories now here three rings are there 83 approximately it is a 27.6 27.66 something it is a uh, uh, approximately 27.7 Okay, now here it is the 91, this is uh, approximately 30.33, that, that means closer to the 30.4. Okay, now here it is the, this is the resonance energy, this is the, like a resonance energy order. Okay, now let's, let's, uh, let's uh, arrange the, like more aromatic compound. So benzene is the more aromatic compound when compared to the naphthalene. Naphthalene is more aromatic than that of the, like uh, uh, phenanthracene. Phenanthracene is more aromatic than that of the, like anthracene. So this is the resonance energy order. Resonance energy order as well as aromaticity order. So benzene is more aromatic than that of the, these polyhydroxy, uh, sorry, poly conjugated benzo fused hydrocarbons benzo fused hydrocarbons so now not only these kind of resonance energies now some of the heterocyclic resonance energies are observed now here it is the five member ring so that is the furan like pyrrol thiophene like pyridine these kind of mites okay now here furan resonance energy is equal to 
18 kilocalories per mole. Now, furan is equal to 21 kilocalories. Thiophene is 29 kilocalories. Pyridine is 32 kilocalories. Pyridine is 32 kilocalories. This is the resonance order, resonance energy order. So here, resonance energy order increases like this. Okay, now here it is the O, N, S, like pyridine. O, N, S, P, Y. Okay, now this is the resonance order. So if resonance energy increases, stability is also there. Like a similar a similar stability order, similar stability order. So this is the like a resonance energy order as well as the stability order, as well as stability order of these compounds. Okay. So among these four, not not like uh, over than these four, benzene is most uh, resonance energy. That is thirty six. Okay. So among these four, benzene is top. Among these four, benzene is also top. These five benzene is also top. Totally, benzene is more aromatic in nature, more like a uh, reactive in nature. That's why it it will it uh, it is more uh, aromatic. Okay. Now let us discuss the final thing regarding to the aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction order. That is the reactivity order of uh, aromatic uh, electrophilic substitution order. Aromatic electrophilic uh, substitution order. Now let's discuss the these three. Okay. Now here it is the like uh, these three. So here uh, furan is the 18 kilocalories. That is the least resonance energy. That's why least aromatic in nature. This is the least aromatic in nature. So due to the least aromatic nature, it cannot use the Diels order reaction. It cannot use the Diels order reaction. It cannot use why because due to the less aromatic energy, less uh, like resonance energy, less aromaticity. Okay. Now here this is the less energy. That means more reactive. That means uh, most uh, it is least stable. Less energy means uh, like it is the least stable. That means more reactive. That means more reactive. Now here uh, the reactivity order of uh, reactivity order with respect to like uh, electrophilic substitution reactions. Reactivity with respect to electrophilic substitution reaction among these compounds so least least uh, like resonance energy that means uh, it is least stable least stable means more reactive okay so oxygen is more reactive when compared to the nitrogen nitrogen is more reactive than the thiophene this is the general order but here so oxygen is more electronegativity that's why here it uh, lessens the reactivity of uh, electrophilic substitution reaction so instead of oxygen so the nitrogen derivatives that is the pyrrole is more reactive than that of the oxygen so oxygen is more reactive than that of the sulfur so this is the more reactivity towards the electrophilic substitution reaction so after this so benzene is more reactive towards the like electrophilic substitution reaction when compared to the pyridine when compared to the pyridine this is the like electrophilic substitution order rea the reactivity of electrophilic substitution order in uh, like a uh, heterocyclic aromatic compounds okay so this is the very simple reactions so this is the like reactivity of ESR order many of the previous year uh, CSR as well as gate questions there is a, 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 these kind of questions okay that's all for this video this is very helpful video for the like uh, basic learners as well as uh, like a strong aspirants of uh, net as well as gate students okay that's all for this video thank you so much for watching